Hello everyone. Today we're going to try and change the belt on this lawnmower. Yes, that is a belt you see. This particular lawnmower has a feature, if you press down on one of those uh, levers, the front wheels will automatically turn for you. As you can see it's uh, tied to this transmission and it's supposed to make lawn mowing a little easier, I guess. So, that's what we're going to change. And this belt is really starting to show its age. It's starting to crack. It's starting to slip. So I imagine it's stretched out and just starting to... Yeah, look how loose this thing is. That is uh, probably not ideal. But anywho. So, let's get started. First thing is first, you want to... Uh, disconnect your spark plug wire with for safety purposes which I have already done and I flipped it the way I did so that way the uh, fuel shouldn't escape so now we want to get on the uh, blade here I may have to set the phone down to do this it's bigger than that maybe it's an 18 oh I don't know if lawnmowers are gonna be yeah it's definitely gonna be a metric one so let's uh, see what we can do here like I said, I may have to set the phone down to do this. Yes, I do. Let's see what we can do here. The lawnmower's kind of warm yet, so let's see if I can push down, not directly against a sharp blade. We'll see. There we go. Slowly here, but there we go. That is out. So there are what well, looks like two or more bolts holding this guard on. Um, hold on, here. I should actually be helpful if I hold on. So it looks like this bolt and this bolt have to come off next. So same drill. I will try to do that. They do look significantly smaller compared to the other one I did, but that doesn't mean they are. It might be a 13. And, uh, mind you, this has not been taken off since I've had this lawnmower for six years. some of those well this lawnmower is a lot older than that well we got it second hand that's the end of that mystery Very long bolt, very long. Yep, so still hot because I just mowed the lawn. Do the same to this one right there. And I'm not sure if I'm getting I just realized that part of this got cut off or I stopped recording. But yes, the guard did come off. There's the guard, there's the bolts. We have this guard on this side, this plastic guard. That needs to come off too. So that looks like it's a 10 or a 9 millimeter right there. So hopefully this time I don't stop recording. Looks like it wants to go. All right, guards are off. Uh, maybe. There, oh, there's one more underneath here. 
Let's go get that. I may need, yep, and I'm going to need an extension. So let's get that out of there. It is indeed a 10 millimeter. Put that away before we lose it. Really unfortunate spot. All right, guard is out of the way, so let's slip the belt off. Or do we slip it from the front? Oh, there's another guard on here. Okay, so we have another guard to worry about here. So at this point, we got to tip the lawnmower uh, on its wheels. Let's see what you can do here. We have. This pulley right here, I imagine that looks like that comes off and we gotta get that belt off. And it looks like it's a Torx. So I gotta find my Torx bits and we'll get that off. So with the magic of video editing, I'll do that one. Or yeah, we should be able to get that off with the magic of video editing. So I will be getting that off and then we'll be right back. All right, pulley's off. By the way, that is a T25 Torx that I used. Worked like a charm, slips right off. Now we gotta lift the mower. I'm going to do this with my weak hand, and there you are. There is what it, the old belt. Old belt. Oh yeah, that thing is starting to be show its age. And, you know, best practice indicates that you should measure approximate distance. And I know it's a very unscientific test, but it looks like that is going to be good. Uh, this is the part number I use for the Toro front-driven front-wheel drive mowers. If I can get camera to do what it's supposed to do here. I, of course, we'll drop a link in the description, regardless if I can get this to cooperate or not. There you go. That might be a manufacturer date. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is a Toro 117-1018. And the nice thing about Toro, if you have half of the model number, it's on the back in this case, if you look it up on their website, it'll tell you what belt you'll need. You'll, you'll get a real good idea. It's because I have a number that's worn off on mine. So I had to search for a little bit, but according to the, right from the horse's mouth, this is the right belt. So we'll get that on. Look at that. No problem. I think the belt cost me all of ten dollars for anybody that did uh, does care to ask said it's a uh, something I got off of Amazon prime shipping right, first thing is first I'm going to get this uh, I'm gonna get this back together but I'm gonna do that offline so I'll get those three torque screws back on and we'll see where that takes us from here Take a look at that little action right there. So, I think my mower got a little hot at one point. All right, we got our cover on and our two 10 millimeter bolts. Now, it's time to uh, point the camera in the right direction. Installation is basically reverse of removal. So, I'll probably just do that offline and then we'll meet right up here when it comes time to test out our lawnmower. All good to go. Let's get her engaged and started. Maybe. Oh, this is weird. All right. I think it does need a tune-up. All right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. We're starting. And we're engaging. a lot 
lot slower than what it is. All right, so that's all there is to it. And just to recap, these are the tools that I use to do this. 3 8 uh, socket, a 3 8 extension, a 10, no, that's a 13, but a 10 millimeter socket, uh, deep. I think the shallow one may work depending on what you got. Got a uh, shallow and a deep 13 and a 16 for removing the blade. So you can do this yourself with some basic tools. So that's all there is for me. So if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, as always, leave them in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching.